There we go. Good evening, everybody. Let me, uh... Testing. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. This is Miles Luigi. Welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. Uh, last time we did two worlds, and then we found ourselves literally on the, uh... Uh, on the edge, and I guess starting Super Mario Sunshine World, which was not a 2D Mario game, that was a 3D Mario game, so I anticipate we're going to be seeing a lot more original, interesting levels. In either case, it's going to be sunny and probably full of water, and we're going to see if we get any flood, but uh, well, let's see what ends up in uh, Super Mario Sunshine World. Aha! Uh, probably should pick up that mushroom, I totally missed that mushroom. Looks like this is very inky water, thankfully it is not death. I was about to say though, uh, it is sinking me down. I cannot swim up in it, at, like, easily at all. I'm about to say, this is <laughs> difficult to swim in water, so you, yeah, you gotta like. I'm holding the mash <laughs> jump button to do this. <laughs> gotta go up and up and up! Uh, probably should just jump over, oh. or just walk underneath everything, since we're dealing with way more difficult water, so... Oh, can we go up this? Hold the mash button! Thank goodness we got a mash button. See so, yeah, a good evening, Mayoshi. Good evening, Yankee Gal. Hopefully, you're having some uh, good days, so... Okay, no, this doesn't go anywhere. This will go somewhere, though. <laughs> okay. I like, does this go anywhere? No, it was just because the screen wouldn't scroll, though. Uh, this will get me somewhere, though. Yeah, be aware of those vacuum cables. I'm about to say that's one, like, design thing with the vacuum cleaner that, uh, I, I don't think has been engineeringly figured out or solved other than having a really nice, sturdy vacuum cleaner cable, which... <laughs> Hopefully you paid a decent price for your vacuum, or got the quality you deserved out of it, because I definitely know vacuums from my, uh, I guess, life experience that had really shitty cables. <laughs> Could have started a fire if we weren't careful, those kind of cables, you know, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, there is definitely something to the left here, although these, uh, these music note blocks are trying to impede progress here. Uh, it's bounced me all over the place instead of just bounce me straight up and down, so... There we go. Uh, it's worth an extra life. Alright, so we have a bunch of pits I could potentially go down. These are very easily Is This Death Pits. Yep! Well, this is gonna take a little bit. There is something to our left there. <laughs> I chose poorly. Uh, alright, well, time to wait for the, uh, mash the jump button to get me out of this. I hope I didn't just lock the camera down here, though, because if I did, then I genuinely am very dead. Actually, I think I totally did lock the camera down here. I am genuinely very dead. I am very dead. Bye, cruel world. I chose poorly. Oh gosh, this is gonna boot me all the way back to the beginning of the level because I didn't even hit that midway point. At least I now know what this level, uh, what to expect out of it, so. Uh, and now I know which pit I need to go down. Uh, I should have just tried to swim underneath again, but then again, I was big Luigi, so what can you say or do? Alright. There's another mushroom right here. It helps me uh, get right back to where I was. And can we make this jump? No, we cannot. And I actually just jumped right into another Koopa Troopa. So, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And, uh, I don't suppose there was anything here. Not particularly. Okay. I guess this is why the start of the world gives you an extra life. Because I just realized, I think because of a reset, uh... Like, I had, like, 20 lives, and I went back to, like, nothing last stream. Uh-oh. So, actually, it's in my interest to click some of these one-ups. Even though the game overs aren't super critically bad, we don't want them still. Alright. You can kind of see in this preview, uh, pain that there is a uh, warp pipe down here. So, anyway, let's go down in here. 
I'm hoping going down into the blocky maze is the correct decision here. Let's try it, because it looks like I could have gone outside it to the right. I could definitely use that. Over here. Come on, over here. <laughs> so slow swimming, so slowly. Uh... This is definitely a use case to bring a penguin suit into a level, because I'm willing to bet you actually swim somewhat decently in the oil. There. Alright, there we go. So that was where our second star coin was located. And that's where our midway point was. Thankfully, it looks like we're doing way less swimming now. That's nice. <laughs> good play by Yoshi, though. Penguin with oil is not a good thing. Even if I could swim better in the oil. Ah, ah, ah. Back up, back up, back up, back up. The jeez, that's gonna take forever. Oh, Jesus. I deserve that. I'm about to say, I should be able to curve around and be able to make this jump from here. There we go. And this should take us back up here. Go ahead and just pick that up. And there we go. Extra life. Good luck. Good. And then, oop, coins. I'll take this! <laughs> there we go! Oh man, I didn't jump right at the end. That could have uh, ended off very perfectly, although that was very well choreographed and set up by the level. Almost played a little bit of automatic Mario there. I'll take it. Uh, in any case, uh, looks like we're gonna be fighting crabs. Five angry crabs! Ah, darn it! Missed my jump! No, must. Angry crab. Oh god, they run after me. <laughs> they run after me. I'm about to say they actually don't appear to keep their anger across the screen warping either. By the looks of things. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> Death in the post game. I didn't even kill a single crab there. I probably should be uh, focusing more on my effort further up here. I didn't even get a chance to pull off a power up if I wanted to, so I better do this right this time. That is not correct. There we go. There we go. Nope! Ahaha! <laughs> Bounced a little too far off away from me. Jeez, this is giving me way more trouble than it normally does. Uh, let's try to cheese it. Oh, jeez. There we go. And this evidently, though, isn't counting as kill- Oh, no, I have to hit them twice. Okay, I see. There we go. And there we go. That got us a penguin suit, and we got to keep our fire flower the way we like it. Let's enter into this toad house. Alright, we got two, some more might etch matching item cards. Alright, let's try to avoid the Bowser and the Bowser Jr. At least we got one match. I'm about to say we're getting penguin suits today, evidently. I'll take it. On to level two. Oh, here we go. Now we got some custom graphics. Bianta tosses me up onto the top of the building. Do that again. 
I have a feeling we're going to have to be using Chucking Piana quite a bit here, but we need to use Chucking Piana to get up to this star coin. Uh... Okay. Alright, let's take a look at what's up here. Oop! Haha! <laughs> I had to have existed for a reason, I'm like, uh-oh. Alright, what's up here? More textures! Oop. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. We won the Chuckster's minigame. Oh no, I landed on a crab and I lost the fire flower. Oh man. And now I lost my regular power up. How about we get that midway point now? That would be nice. I definitely want to tread really carefully after that experience here. There we go. At least we got our midway point, so we can rest assured that our progress won't be lost too much here. Let's go ahead and pick that up, and, uh... Well, that's where our next star coin is. Can we be chucked up there? Yes, we can. Alright! I got a feeling that this Chuckster mechanic, and I totally should have been chucked into the flagpole so I can get an extra life, but I have a feeling this mechanic's gonna come back in another level in this world, <laughs> so... Uh, beware of Chucksters! Uh-oh! Legoland. Uh, okay. Actually, I should be corrected! Technically not Lego, it's that Nintendo version of Lego, NNB. Uh, which I forgot exactly what that stood for exactly, but thankfully because of the initials are NNB, I can at least remember NNB. There we go. I am not going to deal with that fire bro shenanigans right now. Uh, we're just going to leave him be in his own little room. <laughs> All alone. Let him be. Here we go. Looks like there could be something to my upper left here above me. I'll have to pay attention to that. Oh, shoot. Well, I went over here to get the Koopa Gel, and unfortunately I kicked it away. And lost the power-ups. But let's, uh... Oh, come on. Try that again. Alright. Just make my life easier. Get rid of the hammer, bro. <laughs> Alright, we want that. Now, I don't think this will be anything, but... Okay. <laughs> the, the wall pushes me out the other way anyway. Uh, still intriguing and interesting that I could. Oh, jeez. Boomerang, bro. Okay. Alright. That secret is pretty well telegraphed. Coins, visible section, hmm, I wonder where I need to go here. And there we go. And this level's definitely generous with uh, its coin placement and all the coins it's giving me. Definitely no complaints for me on that, though. There we go. <coughs> Thank you.
Alright, into our first castle we go to, which is gonna be a very, uh, foresty castle. Oh boy, we got, uh, purple goop of death there. I think last stream we came up with, like, death water or something weird to call it. I think it was one of my co-commentators. We're definitely gonna be bringing in co-coms after this level. Uh, ooh, boy, okay. Good thing I, uh, went low there with that jump and was able to pick up one of the star coins here. Alright. I may have to just take the hit and then pick up the fire flower here. Okay. That was more dangerous than I thought it was going to end up being, but at least we made it across. One of those pipes could lead to somewhere, but man, that is a difficult jump to make, so we're just going to hope that it doesn't for right now. Let's see if any of these pipes take me anywhere. So far, not much of anything. Grape toothpaste! Thank you, Yankee Gal! I'm like, somebody was calling it something last time. Oh, jeez, I slid right into the enemy. That was definitely my fault. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm about to say the star isn't going to last long enough for me, but at least we found our second star coin here. All right, where is this taking me towards? Did I jump over anything? The midway point. Okay. These vines appear to be here for decoration. Yep. Alright, let's move on. Alright, no superstar for us this time. Even if you think you are a superstar, oh, you gotta do this with fire. There we go. Pipe right in the middle. Drops us right into this middle of this section here. There we go. All three star coins acquired. Alright. PD Piranha! Oh boy, I should have expected a prom plant. Can I jump on him? Yes, I can. Okay, oh boy. Well, I do not know what kind of pattern to expect from this guy here. It evidently showed, as I went from Fire Flower to dead in T-5. Way to go, Petey. Alright, we're gonna have to watch this pattern. He was just bouncing around like crazy here, so... Alright. Ooh! I'm gonna have to wonder if after that first hit, he just starts doing the bigger jumps instead of the smaller jumps. There we go, we're just gonna duck in the corner here. Probably not a good idea to try to get him while he's going to up. Oh boy, timing this. <laughs> when he's up so high in the air most of the time, I have to hit him while he's down low, which he's not down low very much when he's jumping that high. And I'm thinking he's not going to stop jumping that high. Oh boy. Oh jeez, he jumped right into the corner. Hiding in the corner was not a solution there. Alright. Yikes. Let's give ourselves an extra hit here. We might need it, especially if we need to do three hits here. Aha! Damn it! When do I attack? Fuck's sake! Ugh! Uh, well, everybody, can we bring a star? Oh god, the star just dies off immediately. That was a whole total waste of a star.
Fine. Fine. I'll do that. I call shenanigans. All right. Well, let me restart Discord so that the cocons actually work now. Looks like you're in here already, JD Easter. How are we doing tonight? Uh, doing all right. Okay, that's good to hear. Looks like we're going to be entering into level four now, water level. After what I'm going to call right now a boss that I either need to better understand or just has a really shenanigans pattern. So hopefully you've been doing well. Uh, I believe you said that you, uh, you know, you've been pretty regularly streaming on Wednesdays. Is that's going to be the case this upcoming Wednesday? Yeah, I think so. That's just the one weeknight that I don't have anything regular planned after a certain point. I guess Mondays as well, but no one wants to do anything Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well, I'm always like busy like Thursdays and Fridays, and usually like the weekends I'm, I have other like either family friend or something with well, obligations like this weekend's the midwest gaming classic so uh, uh I, wish, yeah. I wish you luck just because evil pop and i have been doing doom stuff on wednesdays so i've never been to one of those conventions i wish i'd been at pax east this past uh week i didn't oh. really end up having anything that would have kept me from going, but I did, couldn't have known that that far in advance. I see. Yeah, I'm about to say, uh, with uh, MGC, since it is uh, kind of in the city that I live in, uh, really easy to go to. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Definitely helps. I mean, Boston, I have a friend in Boston, and Boston's like a four-hour bus ride away. Nothing that couldn't be done. It, it, once you're looking in the realms of needing to take a plane ride or spending over a day of travel, that's when it starts to become uh, difficult. Because then you either have to choose to do that, you know, day-long trip or uh, the money needed for an airplane ride. Which isn't horribly expensive usually, but can be. Question mark. Oh my gosh, the penguin suit is very, very good! I clearly needed to be using this more. Yeah, I like how well they implemented the ice... I want to say ice physics, but like the kicking ice thing. It's kind of like... <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it worked like that in New Super Mario Brothers as well. It reminds me more of Kirby's Adventure. <laughs> ah. Uh-oh. Casino! I messed this up. there gonna be any point to doing this out of curiosity, or is this just play until you boss. lose? <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. Do we end up, if we hit all booze here, uh, do we hit a boss? Oh man, now I gotta hit the booze though. It was all sevens that made the boss appear in the original game, wasn't it? Well, I hit all sevens, no boss appeared, so... Yeah. 
Oh gosh, these tile flippings are not following a pattern that I'm seeing. I think they are. I don't know, it may just be a longer cycle than you're expecting. Possibly. Ah. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, I can't spend all day gambling at the casino because I'm running out of time. Darn it! Lost track of time at the casino, just like in real life! <laughs> also lost your shirt, apparently. As in literally, you lost your power up. Oh, jeez. And then I died to a crab. Well, that's gonna make for a great night story. Well, except the fact that I'm dead. Remember, kids, gambling addiction is a real problem. Uh, insert uh, some kind of parental advisory message here. Oh, so that's where the second star coin is. I just totally... Super Mario Bros. 3 mix, rated Peggy 12. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it is. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> just banned from US shelves. Or, uh, you, uh, what is it, Australia that does that rating? What got us Voltorb flip is what I'm uh, trying to remember. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not sure. I'm not as familiar with the, I guess, other countries' rating board system. There we go. Actually, you know what? I got this suit. Let's go against the crab with it. Oh boy, 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 oh boy! Okay. Well, that's an inconvenient place for him to freeze. Also, I guess so is that place. Alright, there we go. I like how it doesn't count the ones that you knock out with the ice ball, or like with the kicked enemies. Okay. I could take flying. Uh, maybe the game was strongly hinting that I should also one up. And also, I guess we're going to be going underground into the, the tunnels of Delfino Plaza here. There we go. Oh jeez, okay. I ran a little too far to the right there. I'm like, it's quiet. Bam, Buzzy Beetle. Oh boy, I could probably use that. Alright, let's see if this P-Switch does anything good for me other than uh, make some coins appear. Well, I think I missed the purpose of this P-Switch. Uh-oh, I have a cat incoming. Okay, and there is... well, jeez, we missed a star coin. Not sure how far back I can head, but... I do definitely know there was an upper path that I, you know, I just jumped down here. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, we're not with all the flying item. We're not heading back there. Or I could just take a death. I said take a death. Okay. Wow, that's weird. Even when I'm trying to kill myself, I can't. Uh. There we go. Peggy 18. <laughs> there we go. On the bright side, we found the hidden one up in this level, just hanging out right here, so uh, we can we can suicide all we want if we need to. Alright, so it's right around here. There we go. Yep, star coin right over here. Thank you. 
Okay, there we go. And star coin too. Yeah, if there is a uh, another purpose for that piece of it other than to get you some coins, I think I'm going a bit too slow for that. Probably will definitely help to have a penguin suit for that. Uh, in our case, let's go ahead and continue on with the level as we get another one up. I'll take it. And this piano is just living down here. <laughs> Throws me just high enough to be able to make it into the secret. Here we go. Alright, can we jump above here? Uh, I am not landing on any platform up there, so I'm gonna take that as a no. Question I came out of a pipe. Can I go down that pipe? No. Okay. Seems like an odd and quaint secret, I'll be honest. Unless our reward's on the way down, it does not appear like it is. Is there a Chuckster over here? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> that was a devious invisible coin block. Oh, that could have been worse, though. And there we go. Course clear. Am I gonna run into Bowser and Bowser Jr. on this board here? You know what? I made a very smart decision skipping that card. I just pressed left and pressed left again. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm skipping that card. That was a smart, smart unintentional nice. decision. I'll take it. I just cleared that board. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves an auto scrolling water level. And we go, why am I going slow when um, this plant's gonna be shooting that anyway? Oh gosh, I'm gonna miss the penguin suit. Darn it! Aha! Okay, we're, we're getting some scrolling direction here with our auto scrolling stage. Uh, let's just hope, uh, I was about to say, let's hope we don't go into a minefield of electro boopers. And in come the electric boopers, just as I was thinking of it. Alright. There we go. I will definitely take that. Well, so far this level's been pretty generous with the power-ups. I can't complain. I'm gonna swim past him before he can even release any spores. Yeah, there we go. I'm about to say the closest thing you're gonna get to a uh, penguin enemy and a Mario Yankee gal would be a Bumpty, and uh, we haven't seen any indication of seeing any Bumpties, so... Boy, it looks like I'm going to be chucked by uh, some piantas here. Oh, jeez. Where, where's the salt ground there? I must have just totally missed it. <laughs> I just overshot that entirely. There we go. Alright, that's all ground? Okay, good. A little confused where the Sol ground starts and ends, but at least we figured it out. Uh, appears to have been worth a one-up here. 
thinking the star coin probably is still a yikes. Lost my power up. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, pipe, let's, uh, let's see what's over here first. Oh boy. Oh boy, is that death? No, it's not, okay. Oh boy, we definitely have some serious exploring to do here because that is the end of the level. Uh, and that appears to have been an exit pipe. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to find a way to get back. Well, that was a pretty simple puzzle to solve. <laughs> All right. What is a uh, Isle Delfino ghost house gonna look like here? Oh boy, gravity reversed! This was not a mechanic I was expecting in my Mario ROM hack. As now I fall to the ceiling and die. <laughs> not something you hear me say every day. I just fell to the ceiling and died. We're gonna figure out a way to make gravity normal here. Again, in order to be able to get that star coin gonna be another round through the level. I am definitely not used to Mario 3. Oh god, oh god, doing the gravity flipping, so. Now this looks like almost if I would run over it like the kids, I'm gonna flip over to the other side, but I guess that's not what it's gonna do, is it? Oh, well, that's where our next star coin is. <laughs> yep, there we go. There we go. This will probably flip us back over. Yep. Let's say it kind of... Oh, jeez. Okay. Now I f flew to this floor and died. Ah oh, uh, great question, Yoshi. Yeah, uh, so left and right, thankfully, are still left and right. Uh, and I'm about to say, when I went down the pipe, I think I pressed up? I'm gonna have to try again when we get back there to see what button I actually pushed. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Both sides of the screen are out to kill me right now! There we go. Yeah, well, Yoshi. Luigi died on his way to his home planet. <laughs> there we go. We're back to the pipe. So yeah, I pressed up and I went into the pipe. There we go to answer your question. Wow, so I went AFK for a bit, and gravity flip. Yep. <laughs> this is a total gravity flip level, although you kind of missed it, because it appears that the first half of the level is gravity flip. Uh, and I think, because uh, there's a star coin right at the beginning of the level, that I'm going to have to run all the way back here uh, to get our third star coin. This seems more new Super Mario Bros. DS vital level, where the whole level just rotates, but you're still, like, up. Facing up. Oh, man. There's a door. Man, I could swear there's a star coin, like, at the first screen, though, not where I got the one that I just got, so... Oh, this is a P-Switch. Okay, oh, that made a pipe appear. Oh, gosh. Okay, we need to figure out where this goes. I guess we're going back upside down then. This is such a secure, circuitous path to take here to be able to get into this pipe, so uh, this better be good. At least we get to see Luigi upside down again. There we go. Yeah, I better not fall into the ceiling and die again. 
go. What does this pipe do? Let's find out. Oh boy. Well, it appears that we have our end goal thing here and a one-up, so... Yeah, let's just hit it. Room looked a li bit more ominous than what it actually was leading on to be. And into a pipe we go. Uh-oh. Well, you know what that means, everybody. It's a mysterious World Zero! Also, I did not get pulled down by hand this time, so... Thankfully, we can still manually enter the level. Well, what is that? Is that gonna hurt me? Uh, evidently not, but okay. It's a bit freaky to just see glitched graphic, graphic right there. Oh, hello, that one random level in Mario 3. I'm about to say, thankfully I have the ability to fly right now. If this is that level. Like yeah! The Dark World version of it. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten any star coins, so uh, we're going to have to do some exploring, but at least we could say we cleared it right now. Well, that looks like a very <laughs> evil level over there. Can we find the coins and avoid my troops? I'll give you a key. All right, back to the Super Mario Bros. I am not used to this kind of layout. Oh gosh, no. Ah, okay, I pick these things up and, oh, it appears I'm just kicking them, but still. Uh, let's see, it's not letting me just straight pick it up. I hope I'm not wasting all my ammunition that I need here. That would be troublesome. Oh, jeez, the fireball appeared on top of me and I died. No! Huh. I don't remember if that's actually a, uh, also a magic blot on the, uh, the map screen. Yeah, I don't remember if this is one of the Mario Brothers modes from the original Super Mario Brothers 3. I know there were different mini-games that you got occasionally if you played the Versus mode. Well, perhaps I should read the text, because the text is telling me, hey, uh, get the get the coins. So I don't have to worry about killing the enemies. It looks like I just have to get all these coin blocks uh, out of the way and get the coins. And there's some up top where the enemies are spawning. Those are going to be the m most annoying to get. Uh, but we got them all. Alright, we're good. Alright, looks like you got another key. Uh, but first, star coins. In a level like this, Let's hopefully hold on to our uh, Tanuki suit here, because uh, we're going to need it to exit, unless there's another way out that they added. I don't think so. Tempting as a fire flower is to pick up right now. I'm not sure where it helps me again in this level. Well, it just spawned anyway, so What's we'll up? see. If hey, good evening, Yoshizilla. We're playing Mario Bros. Three mix. Yep, we're we're playing that uh, well Mario Three mix, and we're currently like in that Bizarro Castle level right now. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, that's oh, pretty cool. 
Well, Miles, on a random note, um, do you have any siblings? Because it is National Sibling Day, apparently. Oh, shoot. I have one. Yes, I do have a sibling. Cool. Tell your sibling happy National Sibling. I don't know. <laughs> do what you want. Well, I don't think I've ever <laughs> told my sister happy sibling day before because I was not aware of it being a holiday, so... I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. It's just probably, you know, like a lot of national stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't aware of that either until my sister told me. I was like, oh, okay then. So how's the Mario Bros. 3 mix going? <laughs> Uh, this, uh, Mario Sunshine World has been pretty intriguing fun. Uh, PD Piranha kicked my ass, uh, who's one of the sub-bosses, oh, so, yes. P Since when does PD Piranha not just kind of completely destroy you, to be honest? Like, not you specifically, just anyone. <laughs> PD has the jumps, that's what happened, so... Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I've seen PD Piranha in many games. Uh, Partners in Time, Sunshine, um, is he in Galaxy? Yeah, Galaxy. Like, I think so. And he's probably in many other games, I don't know. I'm about I can to only say, think of those three at the top of my head. What area again am I missing in this level? I know I, I'm definitely getting that feeling I'm missing another area, but I'm not sure where. <laughs> Perhaps let's take a look. Ah, just fly in the sky. Okay, that works. Oh, you need to hold on to this power up and uh, find the pipe out of here again. There we go. You know, with how reliant I am on Google Calendar, matter of fact, I should really check this right now. Does Google Calendar say it's National Sibling Day? Because sometimes Google Calendar will tell me it's some <laughs> day, and I'm like, oh, thanks, Google. Uh, it is not on Google Calendar. <laughs> okay, then. Well, rip. Here, if you type in what is today, the second link says today, National Day Calendar. And then it says nat National Sibling Day. Oh, really? What is... Oh, I, put, I typed what is day, and then it told me what the definition <laughs> of a day is. <laughs> Miles Man. Luigi is, what, 25 years old or something? I, I'm sorry for, for your age. 28, it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> well, evidently today is also... Today an is. Hug, evidently today is also Hug Your Dog Day, so go hug your dogs, everybody. All right, be right back. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but anyway, you oh. came at a good time because, uh, yeah, we, we just found that secret off of this ghost house, and this ghost house gimmick, because you get to see it again now, is that we're upside down! Congrats. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of secrets, um. Uh, Miles, don't ever. Well, you should play it sometime because it's a fun ROM hack. Uh. Don't ever play Super Mario the Green Stars, because let me just say that some of the star locations are completely bullcrap. Like, oh. there, there's one where it's a red coin star, and it's literally in this maze, and I think it took me and my friend, because we actually were able to implement the online Super Mario 64 into this ROM hack. We just couldn't play Yoshi or Luigi, but we can play the other characters. Mm -hmm. Um... And it took us, like, I think legit 20 minutes to get that one star. Like, 15, 20 minutes. That's how dumb it was. Okay, then. Also, good to see that there's no more level to the right, then. For a second, I thought you were going to say don't play Super Mario 64 green stars because it's haunted. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I play I mean, this ROM hack and all of a sudden Jigsaw, <laughs> Jigsaw appears in my house or something like that. Or some kind of creepy Mario plush comes to life, or whatever the creepypastas say nowadays. Oh my gosh. One of my friends who, like, makes, like, Mario plush videos made a skit on that. It was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> like, like, Mario plush comes alive and they attack him. <sighs> and looks well, like I mean, he... 
He really reached, reached 60,000 subs, so I mean, it's doing good for him. We're probably going to be running into PD Piranha again in this castle. Let's find out. Oh no. But yeah, since this uh, this is based off of a 3D Mario game instead of a 2D Mario game, a lot of levels in this uh, world have been pretty original, and they're pretty well designed. Oh gosh, th that was a terrible jump. I lost all my power-ups. Oh no. Oh my gosh, that that was kind of like that was stupid, but also just like <laughs> like I don't know, it was just unlucky at the same time. I've heard some people pronounce PD Piranha as PT Piranha or Pete Piranha. I always took it as PD Piranha, unless there's some dialect I'm not aware of, which in that case, I'm just gonna say a lot of people say PD Piranha from just my experience, so. <laughs> yeah. It's not like we could ask the character himself, we could ask the creator of the character. Hey, yo, uh, PD, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably just, you know. <laughs> growl at us, eat us alive, or yeah. Whatever prom plants with really funky underpants say or do. Blarbach, I... as I recall. More like to think of like what he's wearing is like swim trunks or something. He just wants to go swimming. <laughs> it would make more sense. Also, hello, Jaster. Hello. Dang. I'm sort of low key looking into Super Paper Mario things. <laughs> oh yeah, aren't you doing your Super Paper Mario stream tomorrow? Oh yeah, it's mostly probably unrelated. <laughs> yeah. Miles, you better be careful, you, you're kind of small. Yeah, I'm on the outlook and uh, lookout for a midway point right now, I can tell you that. I prefer not to do that auto struggle section again. Are you trying to get through this without save states? Yes. And are you successful so far? Eh, successful so far. I think I only use save states for a is this death moment so far, and obviously between streams, so... I'd like to see you do Kaizo Mario again without save states. <laughs> oh, we'd be here for hours! <laughs> oh yeah, so I actually looked into, like, someone playing Kaizo Mario 64 for the first time. Yeah, um, no. Like, here's the definition. I uh, you get killed, like, instantly every time. There's a million chain chomps and many BS jumps. Yep. I'm about to say There's I was kind of even speed run the game. Oh it's wow. Like, how? They must like go into like actually Okay, if it takes hours of practice just to do, you know, kind of tricks in a in the normal Mario game, imagine how long it takes to get good at this Mario game. Yeah. Or this ROM hack, I should say. ROM hack. But yeah, I was kind of spoiled to Kaizo Mario 64 since uh, one of the channels I follow called Retsu Prey uh, did a series on, like, uh, this one Kai uh, doing a playthrough on Kaizo Mario 64, and they were railing on the fact that uh, Babam Battlefield is basically Babam Battlefield, but with more chain chomps. <laughs> it's actually called, um, I think, Chomp Battlefield or something. Chain Chomp Battlefield. In the other case, it has more chain chomps, so. Yeah. Oh boy, glitchy graphics. Oh no. Hopefully, we didn't miss our star coin. Let's find out. Alright, boss area. Also, block that didn't have a coin. No invisible block, though. So you mostly sh you mostly stream ROM hacks at this point on your Twitch, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Um, I'm about to say we finished Paper Mario Pro Mode, and I did say like if an update to Pro Mode got released, I think I'd do another playthrough. Uh, nothing's come out. Uh, we are almost done, like in uh, Capu's Discord server with the current set of community challenges, and I did say that I'd do uh, another run for the next set of community challenges. So uh, that is something I do plan on doing. Next time I play Paper Mario, want to play Paper Mario casually, I'll probably play Pro Mode. I'd say it's worth it. 
Uh, just beware, you will probably it, die a few is times. Is it possible? Is it possible to 100% the game? I'll probably uh, do that. I don't think there's any issues 100%ing pro mode. Mario. <laughs> Wait, say that again, JD Xter? Did you just make a crashes Paper Mario joke? Please, no. I mean... Have you seen Fat Guy's, like, playthrough of this? Pro mode absolutely nope. crashes Paper Mario in many fantastic ways. <laughs> like, I, I think his Let's Play had, like, the superset of all ways I've ever seen it get crashed. Dang. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, uh, when the next set of uh, community challenges come out, uh, we'll probably be seeing, well, we will be seeing more uh, uh, Paper Mario streams there. Uh, out of curiosity, GADS, do we know if we're going to be doing uh, Paper Mario 1 or a Thousand Year Door again for that? Any idea? For what? Uh, do you have any insight into the next set of uh, community challenges on... Uh, I assume um, we're doing Paper Mario 64. I don't think there's any point to doing more of the same game. A Thousand Year Door again? Okay. And that's what we'll plan on doing then. In that case, it'll probably be just be, uh, you know, streaming my attempts at whatever the challenge is. Uh, unless people are, like, super interested in seeing Paper Mario 1 again, which maybe some people are. We'll see. Oh gosh, that's right, the crabs need two fireballs. Forgot that for a moment and took a hit because of it, because I just assumed the enemy was dead. That was a bad assumption to make. Uh, where does this go? That is death. That was just midway point and pipe back, I guess. <laughs> I totally misread my situation. Oh gosh, my power up. I'm about to say for uh, Mario Party Yankee Gal, uh, I would either have to get Evil Pop Dart and Higsby here, which is a bit of a challenge. Uh, one lives four hours away from me uh, for a drive, one lives like ten hours away from me, uh, and is in another country uh, in terms of a drive. Wait, would, would that be Higsby? Yes, that would be Higsby. Uh, we've actually looked it up, but it actually wouldn't be that horrible of a drive if it wasn't for the Great Lakes. If he could drive across the Great Lakes, it'd be a way shorter drive, but he has to drive around uh, uh, Lake Superior, <laughs> so... Dang. Yeah, we would either have to get together in person again. I suppose we could look into trying to net play Mario Party. I have no clue how good like N64 net play is, if it's any good at all. I Let actually alone. have had. I actually have some People friends. People definitely who have done play the Mario Party series. Yeah, I've had some friends who have done it. Maybe I could like have them help you. Hmm. Okay. Potentially interested. I'll have to uh, bring it up with the group then. Because I kind of like the idea of us doing like Mario Party one or two, or we could go back to three uh, over net play. Or two. Or did you already say that? I, I said Mario Party one, two, or three. Oh, my bad. Oh my gosh, it's Bowser Jr. Or it's that baby Bowser. I can't I can't it's, tell because I can't see the bandana. It's Bowser Jr. And also, I, I just took a fireball to the face and died! Ow. Fire is bad for you. It's hot. Well, it's actually good and bad for you. <laughs> when it's minus 40 degrees outside uh, and you have a fire, you probably really want that fire to keep you alive. Is it minus 40 degrees for you, Miles? It currently isn't. But with it being Wisconsin, it could, honestly. Also, I just totally took all the hits and died without even hitting Bowser Jr. that time. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, you just... You didn't even get a single hit on him. Oh my gosh, Miles. You're struggling. Oh, come on, I took him the Tanuki tail to be able to tail the shell, and I totally failed tailing the shell. Ah, I'm getting destroyed. Washed up. So, Miles, how cold is it now? Is it? Is there still snow? 
Uh, actually, there's like a layer of snow since we had snow uh, yesterday. Uh, though it should be melted soon. Should be below freezing right now, though. Yay, Wisconsin weather. Yay. Alright, my biggest challenge is being able to stop this darn shell, especially since Bowser Jr. is definitely throwing these fireballs directly above me, I've noticed, uh, in terms of his pattern, so... There we go. Oh my gosh. Well, that was not the right place to stand for that bomb pattern. Uh, in any case... There we go! Did you do it? We got the pattern down, so... Alright, World 6 clear! Uh, the night is young, let's do World 7 as well. Oh, you're not gonna stop on World 6 this time? Nope. So our heroes discover themselves on a massive rocket about to launch. Was this some kind of trap? After it rumbles to life, it crashes on a nearby planet. Our heroes are now in the greater galaxy. I have gravity shenanigans, I think. This is definitely galaxy. You, Super Mario you Galaxy World. <laughs> he sounds so happy to hear that they were they crashed. <laughs> Well, we now get to play with more gravity shenanigans. It wasn't just one ghost house. Oh, man. Miles Luigi defies gravity once again. I just have to watch out for those black holes, that's all. Yeah. Don't jump into it wondering where it, like, where it leads to. <laughs> It'll lead to death. That's where it leads to. Oh, gosh. Swimming controls when you're upside down. Was not expecting that. Was the one up right side up? When yes. It was, when it was supposed to be upside down. What it's kind a of very conf that. It's a very confused one up. It's like a rabbit rabbit suit. Oh yeah, that's where I saw this. Mhm. Mm oh, it's the launch stars. It looks like we're going to be dealing mainly with two gravity directions, uh, up and down, so... And we're not going to be dealing with all the ways we could be rotating around three-dimensional space here, so... Huh. Up, down, left, right, diagonal, like, up, right, down, right. I'm about to say, you need a three-dimensional vector to be able to describe all those angles, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, you return back for World 7 while Yoshi, which yeah, it is Super Mario Galaxy World World. Is it actually called that, or are you just calling it that yourself? I I'm just calling it that. Very creative. And Miles, I don't know how long you, uh, uh, like how much longer you plan to stream, but uh, depending on if he's still on, Darby and is currently streaming so you, Super Mario Bros. 3, so you can do the <laughs> <laughs> so, if we wanted to raid his again. stream, uh, about to say though, we're just getting started, so we'll uh, we'll see. Let me know if he's like on a world record or PB pace. Maybe then. Here I'll lurk in this stream. Well, we went from gravity shenanigans to hello, big world. Darby is a pretty chill guy to watch too. He's got a thousand viewers right now. <laughs> He is currently uh, in World 5, uh, or he just completed World 5 and he's 17 seconds ahead of his PB, but he still has to get past the hands and, you know, everything yeah. else. That's a huge luck factor, so. Yeah. I actually don't, I think I've mentioned this before, I had a chance to meet Darbian once at uh, Calithon and I missed my opportunity. 
about to say he t he ties the world record for dragster. Oh, nice. Sorry, I just kind of had to point it out because I remember <laughs> seeing the YouTube video of Darby and getting the 557 on Dragster, uh, uh, which Dragster. was yeah, which was after like it was uh -huh. proven that that is the best time you can get in the is game. He, is he the only one that's only done that on? Uh, like, is he still the only one that's done that on hardware? Uh, I'm actually not sure. I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, guys, Drax, Dragster. The fastest time you can get is. What is it? It's 5.57? Yes. That's like the, yeah, not uh, <coughs> 5.51. <laughs> exactly. In many videos on, like, him. <sighs> I'm about to say, I'm now starting to see meme videos pop up on YouTube of, like, fake speedruns from him that are just, like, obviously cheated. <laughs> that are just yeah, hilarious. Yeah, like, there was a, there was a Super Mario 64 Zero Star World Record one. It was just, it's kind of like, I guess, a trend going on. <laughs> you gotta show Todd Rogers with Super Saiyan hair getting ridiculous times in video games. I, I approve of the videos. Like... So do you think he actually cheated his time? We don't have to get into a whole discussion, because uh, we don't need to turn the stream into that. I think it's just evidently clear from the evidence that he's full of, well, shit, is the best way to put it. That's like the most generous interpretation, too, given his evidence we have of him cheating, too. So, yeah. yeah I mean, he doesn't really seem like an honest guy. No. There was an interview thing that I saw, and he was just saying, that was a bad... That was a bad run. I need to do that again. I I play really bad when I'm on camera. I don't know why. It's like, oh, do you now? <laughs> do you stream bad? Uh, or will you, do you play worse when you stream, Yoshi? Zilla? <laughs> uh -huh. No. Uh, given the fact that I uh, currently hold, what, three world records? I've gotten them all on stream, so... Not really. There we go. You gotta play worse when I'm off stream, to be honest. I've tried to do offline runs before. It doesn't work. That was a tougher jump than I had anticipated. Alright, let's get back into this level. Never mind, I have four world records. I don't know, I, I, lose tr <laughs> I lost track. <laughs> Who has beaten your world records recently? Uh, no one, actually. The world, all the world records I've gotten this year, I don't, like I don't think I've been what beaten. What did I into? Am I on a stream right now? Yes, you are, Alex. Oh, well, yep. I'm just waiting for my computer to update so game stream works again. So uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we, we were talking about uh, speedrunning. Uh, apparently, Yoshizilla's uh, world records so far have been holding steady. What game? Paper Mario, mostly. Which Paper Mario? There's five of them. The, the, the good two of them. The good two. Okay, which one? <laughs> There's only two good Paper Marios. Yes, but you're not saying which one. There, there's Thousand Year Door, and then there's Paper Mario. Which one yeah, is it? Yeah, those two. Those two. At, at the same time, you're speedrunning them both. Yeah. I guess speedrun multiple oh. games. You have four hands? No, I'm not saying at the same time. I just speedrun. I speedrun two. Like those are the main main two. Okay, well, which one do you have the record in? Is what I was asking. Both. Oh my! I'm head trying head. to say. <laughs> anyway, after one head explosion later, hello. Uh, okay, there which we go. One is harder for you to run. Uh, probably Thousand Year Door, because it's 60 FPS. <laughs> frame root tricks are harder. Yeah, I'm oh, actually yeah. looking at my leaderboards and... Um... Oh wait, hold up one second. Is there less crashes in Thousand Year Door than there are in the 64? I want to say yes, because... Uh... Evidently, it's really easy to crash Paper Mario, but I could be corrected on that if it is actually... In every way imaginable, I know that. <laughs> oh, um, Miles, to answer your question, there there was actually one of my world records that did get beaten this year, which was 
my all bosses run but my all bosses run was a really bad run and even the world record holder had a bad run as well i mean i'm not like insulting his run in the description it literally says bad lol <laughs> Uh, so. I find it interesting that you have the world record and you're like, yeah, this can be improved, this is bad. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, that's how... It. All speed runs. It, I mean, I, mean, I run some... off of time and I can tell you, oh, man, so many bad. I mean, yeah, there's like, there's people who don't speed run, who's just like, dude, it's okay, you got world records. Like, that's not the point, this run could have been so much better. Like, because world record... like, 20 seconds that you could have saved on a run. I can save like a legit three minutes in my all bosses run. Oh god, how did you manage? Well, no, I shouldn't. Have. Well, that's most. That's mostly due to uh, optimizations and um, like with the route and. But yeah, like I plan, I plan to improve my all bosses time and like I'll probably get the world record back like very soon, like after. After RPG Loma break, because I'm going there. I think I've mentioned many times. I need to focus on Thousand Year Door right now. Okay. Well, <laughs> to interrupt the conversation, we appear to be in the Freezy Hot, or whatever the name of the galaxy was again, that was full of hot and cold again. Uh, shoot, was that Freezy Hot, or what was that called again in Galaxy? There was Freeze Flame, and there was Shiver Burn. Ah. Oh, I love those galaxies. The latter being the site of... What were those things called? Hell Valley Sky Trees or whatever? Oh, man. Well, thank you, Wayoshi. Freeze flame. I need to play Galaxy again sometime. Those, those are fun galaxies. Well, they are fun galaxies. Mm -hmm. I have a 1-5 with gravity. <laughs> Uh oh, I fell into the ceiling and died. <laughs> I am not used to being able to fall into the ceiling and die in my Mario 3. Uh, but yes, hel hello 1 5. Oh, hello, bouncing Koopa shell like crazy. Oh, look at that thing go. Also, either this my Maram like is... Mario Maker level. Oh, this level? I mean, it's based <laughs> off of a level in Mario 3, so... Yeah, close, close enough. So, Miles, here's an interesting question. If What's you were up? to get into speedrunning, uh, what game would you speedrun? The Zero game? Mission. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, one of the Metroids would be, uh, 2D Metroids would actually be a pretty decent choice. Um... I and can't Considering you've done sequence break playthroughs of Zero Mission, you would be good at speedrunning it. I'm about to say, yeah, that'd be the next step. <laughs> I could definitely appreciate the people who put in the time to speedrunning, because a lot of speedrunning is, you know, practicing and being able to be pulling off the tricks needed to get the best times, and... Uh, as a busy adult with responsibilities. Also, wow. Okay, I totally mm -hmm. died. <laughs> as a busy adult short on the uh, star coins in that previous level. Oh, did I miss? Oh shoot! Jeez! Wow! Thank you, Shady Astro. I wasn't even uh, paying attention to star coins. Wow. Let's head it's just back. Just like, hey, it's one five. Let me beat it. <laughs> that was basically my thought. Oh man. Yeah, you're right, Wyoshi. I was on. Block is. Oh man. Yeah, that was just me on autopilot forgetting that there's star coins I need to pick up. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Metro games would definitely be high on that list. Um, can't think of anything else immediately off the top of my mind that I would speedrun, but. <laughs> the Mario game would you speed that, uh... My friend Warrant, he, he speedruns Zero Mission, and uh, he's gotten to a point where he can do a bunch of the frame-perfect tricks that you would use Taz for. He can actually do those without it, which is pretty cool to see on livestream. Oh, dang. That has to take practice. Oh, yeah, I, I watched Probably. a stream where he attempted the same trick 20 times until he was able to do it his next stream the first time. I think probably one of the hardest, like, 
uh, things to speedrun is, like, at least one of them is probably Mario 64, because that, like, you lose, like, a ton of time to just movement. I appreciate that okay. the, the, the red... do it. Like, the red mushroom spawned, like, the right way up with respect to gravity, but the green one did not for some reason. Aren't the two coded differently? Yeah, I definitely look for the red note block. The one that's like right as you like leave the underground section. Okay. Uh, I will tell you guys about the time one of those blocks actually killed me while I was playing Mario 3. Somehow when I touched it, I died instantly. I don't know why it happened and I'll probably never be able to reproduce it, but it did. I found one of our star coins there. I'm not sure if that was uh, the most intentional way to get it, but I did get it. Uh, remind me again about the hidden block just because my brain is... Uh... Go back to the beginning of the above ground section. Oh, shoot. Well, we're re-entering this level. So is that before I start sliding? No, like after that underground section, like when you can first go above... Like, okay. up against the right wall of the underground that as you're leaving is where the block would be normally. It's kind of d tough to describe in abstract. But, like, where that one-up is... <laughs> nice. Fall in the hole there. Yeah, where the one-up is, like, it's, like, to the right of the ceiling above you. Where that mess of pixels is pointing, it's like slightly to the right of that. Like that big tall column of pixels that was on screen for a bit. Good old stream delay. And the stream delay is great, man. What's currently a bunch of instant death right now, huh? Oh, you can even see the the stars in the background. Like, look in the area near the one up. There's like little blocks there that like you can see are turned red. So no, it's definitely Wait, there. I think I'm, I might have missed it. Oh jeez, this here, okay. Oof, so Darvian's now 0.1 second behind his PB in World 7, so I think his only chance of PBing is if he gets good RNG on the hands, and his PB, he got one hand. Mmm, okay. So, ooh, just to get a... just to get no hands. Which is like, what? It's like a 50% chance for each of them, so... Yep. <laughs> so, Jay Easter, do the math. <laughs> it's, uh, one-eighth. <laughs> one-eighth, yeah. Good luck, Darby. <laughs> oh, jeez, I, I didn't you. expect gravity to flip. Why? No, throw gravity! No! <laughs> Dang, that that did kinda Man, that 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 hurt, huh? Yeah we did. We're definitely gonna be going back through this auto scroller again. I was just all of a sudden I flipped and I'm like, well bye bye crew world. So it seems like this hack has definitely like subsisted of a lot of secrets that are like, hope you know where this hidden vine and or red block were in the original game. I mean, to be fair, that one does have the miscolored background to tip you off, at least. And thanks for the heads up, just because I'm like, wait, I totally forgot where this was. I, I know there's a coin block here, too.
Alright, so I died right at the- jeez, I fell into the fireball and died. <laughs> that is not a convenient place for a power-up, I'll say that. If you hit it to the right, it would be. <laughs> well, even if it, Darby doesn't pee by a whole lot, uh, if you type in a command exclamation oh. or goal, his goal is to be better. His goal is to be better! <laughs> oh, Miles! That death. It's it one suck. It's one it, level! It must suck to just die falling upward. Like, just imagine, like, in reality, you, you're flying upward and you just eventually go into space and you're just dead. I'm about to say, I think you're gonna suffocate by lack of oxygen before you make it to space, but... Let's just hope that that never happens to you. Stay home, kids! You'll land on the ceiling Stay. and lind live. Yeah, just move all your furniture to your ceiling, you'll be fine. <laughs> if the neighbors ask, uh... Science? If the neighbors ask, you angered some deity, and now you're stuck to live on the ceiling for the rest of your days. And we can never leave our house. That is why I'm homeschooled. <laughs> yep. And that is why I am not social at all. And that's why I can no longer attend any speedrunning events. I was gonna ask you, uh, you know, she's uh, when is your uh, upcoming, uh, well, hopefully this takes me somewhere, thank goodness. Uh, when was your uh, event again? Shoot, I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, well, there's two events. There's Calithon and RPG Limit Break. Calithon is in two days, and my run is this Saturday. Awesome. Uh, can you let our audience know where that's going to be streamed? Feel free to provide a link. Uh, it's going to be on twitch.tv slash Calithon. It's going to... Um, yeah, here, I can just give it a link. Um, it's going to be... Oh my gosh. He got no hands. He got no hands. Darbian got no hands. Woohoo! Good work, Darbian. He actually, he actually, well, not good work. That was an eighth, like, a, like, what was it? Like, an, one out of eight percent chance or something? Wait, I have yep. good luck. Oh my gosh, that, his chat's going crazy. <laughs> I bet. Dang, it caught me off guard, too. What's the heart rate at? Did it jump up by 20? No, it's only at 86. He's not even nervous at all. I forgot he had an art a heart rate monitor. That was interesting. like his I, thing, man. Yeah, yeah, he no, was like I'm sorry. the person that had that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, it's gonna be streamed here at uh, twitch.tv slash It uh, The first run is actually gonna be Super Mario Odyssey, so, um, like, um, it's going to be at 5 p.m. I believe that's when 5 p.m. This Thursday is when it starts. Yes, yeah, Super Mario Odyssey uh, Starts at 5 p.m. Uh, this Thursday, so don't miss it <laughs> um, My run is on Saturday at 2 20 p.m. Uh, this is also Pacific Standard Time. So yeah time zone conversions Yep Okay, well that's where one of our star coins is. How do I get there? Do I trust the gravity to flip for me? Gravity, flip for me! You failed! <laughs> you failed! Oh, here. Um. JD Aster, his heart rate's now at 116. Yeah, 116? Uh, or 160 something? You cut off 116. when you said that. 160. <laughs> it's like, 160? Dang. That escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah, just jumped. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay, block physics. Block collision. Alright, well, that's the second star coin. How do we get this first one, though? Alright, gravity flipping. Come to save me! No, you failed again. <laughs> um, but yeah, if anyone's interested in any of the games, you don't even have to donate. Just come watching me be supportive. Um, oh, and Partners in Time All Bosses is going to be the finale at 6:54 uh, p.m. Um, on Sunday, 
but that could change depending on if the schedule is like ahead or behind. So yeah, there was also going to be Super Mario 3D World, but unfortunately the runner had to drop. Ooh, yikes! Do I need to learn Supreme strat Slack strats just for the swag? But yeah, the cool thing is, is uh, um, Kaithong is in San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco, which is just a two-hour drive for me, so I will take it. It's luckily in NorCal, which is where I happen to live. Aw, oh, jeez, yeah. the top guy came back to life. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to flip gravity here and get onto the other side. There has to be a way. But hey, uh, good luck on your run. I'm about to say that, uh, day is a Thursday. I actually might be able to tune in and watch then. Oh, I think I see what I need to do now. Yeah, well, again, my run is on Saturday, so, um... Oh, Saturday. Yeah, Never the mind. <laughs> the event... Oh, you can't watch Riff. I'm about to say, Saturday is Midwest Gaming Classic Day. All day of that day, I'm gonna be at MGC, so I won't be able to watch streams. Dang, Riff. <laughs> kind of an important day, because it's going to be the first time I'm seeing Evil Pop-Tart, and uh, at this point it's actually nearly two years, so... Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the second event I'm go going to, which is in May, is... Uh, um, it's RPG Little Break, which is probably more known than Calathon, because it's, it's, like, a little bigger. Um, like, it's a little bigger event. Um... So, my run is actually, uh, the day I, well, it's the day I get there, I'm actually staying there for four days, um, it's, like, the event is May, I believe it's 13th through the 19th, May 13th through the 19th, and, um, my, my run is the 17th, which is actually the day I'm getting there. So, Darbian is on PV pace, he's at Bowser. <laughs> Let's let's see. He got it. <laughs> oh, good work, Darbian. There you go. Uh, proxy from streams away. Congrats on the PB. I'm sure your chat's reminding you of that very much. <laughs> it's final time is 5219, which is a 24 second PB. Just because of those hands. Just because of the hands. Like he didn't get. He didn't get the, uh... Like, he pee just because he didn't get the hands. That yeah. luck. I'm about to say, that makes a big difference. Yeah. Oh god, the small guys came out. There we go! I need to play Galaxy again because I forgot what the name of the top guys are again, and that boss definitely does have a name. <laughs> uh, Topman Drive. Topman Drive, okay. Top oh. Maniac, I think the boss was called. Okay. But yeah, uh, geez, I want to say I haven't played the original Galaxy. Like, I think I played Galaxy 2, but never went back to the original Galaxy, so I would have to replay that too. Uh, oh, man, it's long overdue, man. Yeah. A good game. Mm, yes, it definitely is. I was about to say, you would probably just take my current save file so that I could play through it again without having to play through as both Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Thank goodness yeah, for previous saves. <laughs> Because then you could I, I just play through it as Mario and then get the bonus extra stage without having to do it again as a Luigi because I already did. So. I'm actually kind of curious. How well does uh, Galaxy and I guess by proxy Galaxy do to uh, do on Dolphin? Uh, cause maybe I should, <laughs> instead of playing it with the Wiimo and Nunchuck, play it with an actual controller. I don't know why you would want to try to play it with an actual controller. There's a lot of motion controls involved. Oh, yeah, that's right, all those uh, motion control things. I mean, more so the star bits than anything. Mmm, yeah. I mean, I guess you could play without them. 
I don't know. I never, like, I replayed it last year, and I thought, well, it would have played better if I wasn't sitting at my desk. It, <laughs> admittedly, are, are my living situation though? at the time was not very good for mm. playing Galaxy. Clearly, the answer is for me to play with a keyboard and mouse, then. <laughs> And I could just point my mouse as the Wii Remote in Dolphin and be like, yeah, I'm pointing at the screen. I would recommend playing with the original controls to anyone that isn't living in a studio apartment. That's actually probably for the best. I was actually also talking about, like, the event on Saturday. One thing I'm a little concerned about is the, uh, yesterday, uh, I accidentally... Uh, cut my thumb slightly and Playing video games with a band-aid. I don't know if you ever tried is not really the easiest. I mean, oh, it's geez. like It's not bad, but it's like it's you know awkward kind of Especially if it's your thumb Which happens to be the thumb that operates the control stick. So yeah, that'll be fun I'm it's starting to heal luckily though. So just hopefully it'll be completely healed by the time uh, it's Saturday. I mean, it wasn't even bad. Just, like, a small cut. For whatever reason, you're reminding me of, uh, you know, the time when, uh, Brett Favre for the Green Bay Packers had, like, this stint in his thumb, and just the commentators for the football games for the Green Bay Packers couldn't stop talking about the damn thing. <laughs> they just kept oh, talking about Brett Favre's stint in his thumb and uh, healing, and him still, you know, playing quarterback football and I missed the start going it, it was just constant that was the discussion and I'm like there's more to the football okay <laughs> quarterback getting all the glory am I talking about my thumb too much for you miles <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not that the talk itself was too much it's just you you kind of reminded me of uh that one year for the Green Bay Packers and I'm like oh my gosh I'm just hoping when you get to your stream, you're not saying the entire stream, my thumb hurts, my thumb hurts, my thumb hurts, my thumb hurts. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I'm not even going to mention it. Like, if my, like, even if I, like, have to kind of cope through, like, the run with it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, mention that. I can still play with, I could just probably, I could just take the bandage off and, like, just hope I don't really damage my thumb while playing the video game. It probably yeah. won't happen. More than there's probably a good 95% chance it won't happen. So don't worry, Miles. You will not hear from me saying my thumb hurts. My thumb hurts. My thumb hurts. <laughs> it doesn't actually hurt right now. It doesn't actually hurt right now. It just has a bandage on it, so it heals. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we're probably gonna have to go upside down something for this star coin. That's probably what I missed last time here. This looks very dangerous to do because of the lava. But I guess we'll do it. Oh, be quiet, Baka. I was giving the example. <laughs> I'm about to say, we'll see when you put an actual stint in your thumb, and you're just like, Yeah, no, it's just like I'm a quarterback, I have a stint in my thumb. <laughs> XD? Who uses XD these days? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to watch myself a bit more so I don't just fall... <laughs> Reverse yeah, the into trick. the lava. Oh, jeez. The, tr the trick is to not have that much momentum. And I feel like something could be hidden really far to the left here. I'm gonna jump out in the middle of nothing. Okay, nothing. Middle of nothing. This is still nothing. Oh boy. Collision. Collision's a thing. Oh dude, Darby and be his, be his goal. Get better. He got better. Alright. We figured out this level and I fell on the last pit and died! Oh, we're doing that again. Oh rip. Oh, the last pit. At least we know where our star coin is, so I can go get that right away. Yeah. 
You're right, Bajin. I should push the jump button. I didn't. That was my mistake. Okay, I can kill these guys. I wasn't sure if I could jump on them or not. I can. Okay. You know what? Just take that hit and get out of the level. There we go. <laughs> Alright, to level 6 we go. Did you not end up finding the other... Oh no, never mind, it just updated on the map. I don't know why it said 17 for a bit there. <laughs> and you'd have been like, hmm, 17's not divisible by 3? What's going on? Uh, my day's doing pretty good, Bajan. Uh, interestingly enough, I actually just got back from... Uh, a uh, conference in downtown Milwaukee at the Wisconsin Center, because uh, the uh, Cisco was doing like a whole bunch of sales presentations and events today, in an event called Cisco Connect, um, and it was an opportunity for me to basically take a day of work going to watch sales presentations and learning about things that Cisco is trying to push right now. So I'll take that. Uh, but I just find it interesting because the Midwest Gaming Classic this year is also at the Wisconsin Center, so I got to see. Well, I know what the Wisconsin Center looks like, but uh, I, I got to quick. I guess reacquaint myself with how the Wisconsin Center is laid out in Milwaukee uh, for when MGC gets there. I'm very familiar with the area because I used to actually work pretty close to exactly where the Wisconsin Center is. <laughs> so I've walked around there a bunch. And yeah, I'm looking forward to Midwest Gaming Classic. It's going to be an opportunity for me and you old pop to catch up again because uh, he's actually going to be coming over uh, from Iowa for that. So. Oh, so I like that the boomerang suit looks a lot like the Hammer Bros suit, but is boomerangs, so... Ah, I'm not sliding. I was like, slide up the downhill upside down? No, okay. Maximum speed slide! Oh, right, you're <laughs> boomerang. Did the platform fail you again, Miles? You yeah, failed just... me! Just my expectations. These boomerangs, they keep going back and forth. Say that, that as if, if that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if, like, the person that made this ROM hack made it to where, you, like, if you get hit by your own boomerang, then you, like, get <laughs> damaged. That would be shenanigans. Oh boy. I have a feeling this P-switch is needed to get up to that area over here. Uh, or not. Ah, I totally missed the point of this B-Switch then. Yes, I did. But yeah, Evo Pop-Tart himself is actually doing really well. Um, I'm about to say, he was not sure if he was going to make it to MGC until recent. Uh, and I gotta really thank his family, because, like, MGC is pretty close to around the time of his birthday. <laughs> so, uh, they're kind of chipping in uh, for his uh, travel and uh, housing costs. So, as a result, he's <laughs> able to make it. Nice. What day is his birthday? Uh, it's after MGC... Um, uh, I'm about to say, I think it's, shoot, what day was it again? I'm forgetting now. I'm a bad friend. Dang. The, you know when you're, you're a bad friend when you forget your friend's birthday? I know about when it is, but not exactly when. My Google Calendar will tell me when. Google knows. <laughs> Google, when is evil Pop-Tart's birthday? Or whatever his real name is. I don't know if you have a map to his real name or his online name. Uh, you can call him Jim if you want to, but usually we go by Evil Pop-Tart here. Yeah, Evil Pop-Tart. Yeah, I remember in your, I think it was in your th one of your Thousand Year Door videos, Stylish Toast. Just call them Jim. Or mm -hmm. whatever I will. Oh, I loves the video of you and Evil Pop-Tart betting on Stylish Toast, beating Shadow Queen for the first time. Like, hasn't played the game so long. He never beat the game either, and it was just like I gave him a save file where you're pretty well, you know, decked out on items and everything for the Shadow Queen, and... Oh look, he did it! I love how he was about to use... what was Vivian's move? Infatuate or something? That confuses enemies? Yeah, and it works! 30% of the time! I thought it was like 
Oh, Shadow Quid's 30% to basically any, uh, or any of, like, the normal ailments. Normal the ailments, normal that's one. like... The normal every... ones, uh, <laughs> yeah, the normal statuses. Like, dizziness and confusion. <laughs> oh, yeah, th sleep thanks, and stop. No. Yeah, thanks, J.D. Easter, the other day for uh, saying what the chance of Gale Force working on the punk rock says in Chapter 3. Yeah, no, don't, no. Gale Force is a horrible, horrible move to use in any sort of speedrun situation unless the thing you're using it on ha is level zero. It's virtually never going to work when you yeah, want it. Yeah, really, there's really no good backup for that fight. How did you not see those blocks last time? You were there! <laughs> Uh, I collected the coins last time, that's how. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Forgot those coins were there. Mm hmm. Wait, what do you. What do you mean, Jay Easter? What? Oh, were you oh. talking to Miles or me? Yeah, Miles. You may have been be a little behind on the stream. This is a long world, 12 levels. I guess World 6 and 7 were longer than that in the original Mario 3, though. Like, 6 had 10 numbered levels alone. Oh, jeez, what is going on in this room? I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this! <laughs> we're V-V-V-V-V-V now. <laughs> that was the correct number of Vs. I'm amazed. I was thinking, maybe there's a Karibo shoe in that block you skipped. Or maybe that is how they intend you to do it. <laughs> I, pr I, I like how they, like... Or I, who is it who made this? Southbird? I, I mm -hmm. love the, how uh, he made the top men work in this game. Like, they work pretty close to how they did in the original game, but like still with like a Mario 3 action. Alright, we made it through here. Yeah, uh, looks like we're just gonna bounce in there. That was a miniature Gravitron there, so... Only this time, if you survive till the time runs out, you still die. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, are we going down? We're going down. Oh, alright. It looked like there might have been stuff up to the left that you didn't see. Possibly, but before we do that, bonus room! Question mark exclamation point! Oh jeez, that boomerang did nothing to this guy. I guess you didn't miss anything of note. Alright. Well, I'm about to say if Rudy, uh, I'm not sure if Rudy's a dog or what kind of pet it is, but if it's a dog, Yankee, I'll make sure you pet your dog today. <laughs> ah, shoot! Darn it! It was not a good place to land that jump. Dang. That was not a good place to land your jump. Looks like we're going to be going through this pipe again. Well, have a good night, Bajan. Question mark, exclamation point! you actually get uh, damaged by the electric charge? Yes, yes you can. Okay. Uh, gravity shenanigans? No gravity shenanigans! I'm supposed to say, there's a block here. I guess I was intended on hitting it with the uh, Koopa Troopa, not gravity shenanigans. Also, I guess I went far enough to the right uh, that I uh, got the point before the boss door. Um, which is appreciated, because I basically lost no progress then. Alright. 
Well, that's appreciated, although I'm now running into this boss with no extra power-ups. I'm going to watch out after I hit him twice, because last time he spawned the two little guys on me, and I was not prepared for it, so... Oh boy. And yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah, I should probably bring in a power-up here. I got lots of these uh, penguin suits. Good old overlapping hitboxes. There we go, penguin suit served its duty by giving me an additional hit there. That was very much appreciated. Looks like we're going to be traversing through some pipe gravity shenanigans now. You better be on the lookout. Pipe gravity shenanigans. Yeah, on the bright side, I don't have to worry about, like, gravity lines or planes or anything like that switching sides. And thankfully, there is a pipe down here to catch my fall, because that could have been very bad. I don't suppose there's any way to enter this pipe now. That's something that this level is definitely making me think, oh boy, how many of these pipes am I going to have to enter the right way to be able to get through here? Man, I love how you hit that coin block and then, like, upside down, and instead of having the coins pop out of, like, the bottom, it still pops out the top. <laughs> About to say, it's, uh, these switches are proving to be helpful, so. And nothing there, okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's not see if there's anything in these pipes now that I'm on the other side here. I about to say I can swim up the downfall, although I think that's gonna take me right to instant death, so I better watch out. That's probably death to my left there. Oh boy. Thankfully, we haven't been seeing too many uh, secrets just stashed away in a pipe that's difficult to access yet. Ooh, hey, midway point just hanging onto the, I guess, floor, and... <laughs> okay, I guess that's death. <laughs> it fell to the ceiling and died again. I'm like, oh, there's the midway point. I jumped up for it and then uh, met my ultimate demise here. Dang it, Miles. You All need right. to stop falling through the ceiling. I do! Stop falling into space from the ground! <clears throat> oh my gosh, how'd you kill that Koopa? I have no clue. Hitboxes. Nice, you just glitched right through the floor. Let's see, I'm not getting quite the same forward a momentum off of a, I guess, slide upwards, which is actually kind of more expected physics. <laughs> you, you get more upward momentum off of a slide in Mario World, where you can kind of briefly slide up hills. Uh, in any case... Oh, well, thankfully I didn't even have to jump. Alright, that's good. Alright. Well, before we hit World 8... Alright, looks like we got 8, Castle, uh, Mushroom House, and then Ship. This is not the music I'm expecting for uh, a level that basically looks like a... Like, you know, a, a ship level. 
Mainly this looks just like a level from World A to Mario 3, so... What the heck? Why is... Why is this music playing for a ship level? It just sinks a whole bunch lower than that level. That one, like, went up and down by maybe a block. Well, as long as we don't run into boss face, I think we'll be okay. I hope I didn't just ding jinx it, though. Alright, Star Coin hiding along with the ship's, uh. ship's movement, so. Definitely have to keep our eyes peeled open for those. Uh, what's in here? Nothing! A whole bunch of nothing! That pipe is filled with cement, except for the piranha plant that came out of it. Alright, before I go into this pipe, is there anything hidden over here? Totally a place to hide a star coin. Eh, no. Alright. Oh, sweet, I can kill the urchins with a fire flower. Uh, I opened my big mouth, and that fire flower probably now just spawned. Ugh. I got a little too excited about being able to kill urchins. Clearly, so. Oh, that's actually really uh, cool to learn, Fusora. Um, I'm about to say, yeah, I so was. It was South Bird then, yeah. I, did, they, I find it funny, like, I knew about this before I knew he edited, uh, Vine Sauce. Before I really knew Vine Sauce was a thing. Well, he does a good job, I'll say that. And before I knew about this, I knew that he did a disassembly of Super Mario Bros. 3. Hmm. I don't remember how long that was public, or if that was public before 3 Mix was a thing, though. So far, I'm definitely enjoying things. Uh, this stream has been very intriguing, because uh, we've been going through Super Mario Sunshine World World and Super Mario Galaxy World World, which is the world we're on, World 7. Uh, this probably just takes us back around, okay. Uh, and we've been running into a couple of original levels sprinkled in with, uh, I guess, remixes of previous levels. Uh, but the th theme is definitely there. Oh my gosh, you missed the uh, Chuckster, uh, Chuckster, um, uh, uh, Piran uh, darn it, um, uh, Piantas, so... <laughs> and I missed the star coin. Jeez, I'm gonna have to search around that water area again, don't want I? Yep, we're going back to that water area. But it's been quite enjoyable. Uh, enjoyable enough that, like uh, last week, uh, we're doing two worlds, one stream, so... Thankfully, we got through that really quickly again. I'm willing to bet you that passageway that I was like, this probably leads to nothing, probably actually did lead to something. <laughs> I gotta pay closer attention to my environment here. Let's keep the fire flower this time. At least this isn't some random, uh, hack where you have to go inside the boxes. Oh gosh, wow! Oh man, thank you for reminding me of Luigi and the Island of Mystery. Yeah, that totally threw me off. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I need to look for these boxes, and I totally missed the boxes. Okay, yeah, this led to the one star coin that way. So yeah, it was totally that other path that I went, and I'm like, wait, didn't I go this way? No, okay. That's over here, and then up to the left, and then over this way. Jeez, Miles Luigi. How'd you miss such an easy thing to miss? Oh, this led to nothing, never mind. Oh, then let's do some more exploring then. Cause yeah, it looks like I might be able to get around here. Let's put that down here. <laughs> Thanks. And there's our third star coin. Uh, as for Samus Returns, I'm about to say, I have not, like, played my 3DS pretty much, uh, for, like, the last year or so. 
so that would include both uh, Kirby Planet Robobot and Samus Returns. So, I'm about to say the last game I played on my 3DS was Fire Emblem Fates. I probably could stand to break it out, because <laughs> after I played through Kirby Star Allies, I'm like, this is really fun. Well, if I want to play more Kirby, maybe I should play go back and play Robobot, so I probably will, actually. Robobot is definitely, in my opinion, a better game than Star Allies, so oh, I would wow. definitely give it, a, give it a whirl. All right. Although I did lie, and I also very much liked... Uh, Samus Returns, although that's the first Metroid game I've played to completion. Mmm, okay. Oh, hello, Upside Down. I think this is a World 7 level. Oh, uh, yeah, 7 6. Well, <laughs> in theory, this should be a lot easier. Because you can just fall all the way to the top. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for star coins, though. More like five two. Yeah, Star Allies was still okay in my opinion. I enjoyed it a lot. I actually, uh, more I made. Yep, more gravity shenanigans. I actually make it made a second save file and told Evil Pop Tart, hey, uh, if we ever uh, have the ability and the uh, resources to do it, uh, do another Kirby playthrough like Kirby Return to Dreamland, I just have a Star Ally save ready. Uh, it just beat World 2 with nothing collected except like one puzzle piece that I couldn't avoid. Uh, just so we have Meta Knight right from the beginning. Thus far, we found. Oh no, never mind. We found one star coin. Mm -hmm. Now we're in seven one from the looks of it. Quick, oh. do the wrong warp. Finish I'm about the to game. I'm about to say, can I glitch my way by jumping upwards and wrong, wrong warp? Oh jeez, I, I just lost my floating ability. That's uh, gonna make it a little bit more difficult to search for some star coins. But I think we'll we'll manage. Yeah, there's our next one. Oh boy. <laughs> Who's pro sandwich? I resent that. Amazing Mare is the best game in the series, bar none. Like I find it funny, like how many people either love that game or like really don't care for that game though. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I enjoyed those people haven't played it multiplayer. I'm about to say I've I enjoyed that game, but I've never played it multiplayer. And I think that would uh, be an interesting experience. That's another net play thing we could probably do. So last I checked, GBA net play is a thing. GBA <laughs> net play I thought was really bad from what I heard. Oh boy. I hope it improved then. Oh boy, are we gonna have to fall into the star coin? <laughs> ah, I'm missing all the coins. Oh, oh, ah. Here's five two. <laughs> I had to bring it up. Maybe you should hang right towards the end because that's where like the content of it is. Unless they want you to fall left. <laughs> oh boy, I might have. There's no way of predicting it. I think I missed my chance, but let's find out. Yeah, I missed my chance. Suicide! Oh, that's mean of them. Normally you want to, like, get to the area that you just got to. Miles does not, uh, support suicide in any way. That's correct. Miles Luigi does not condone suicide. Uh, I cannot be liable for any action that you take, uh, as a result of Miles Luigi's stream. Uh, please sign the dotted line, and, uh, have a good day. <laughs> or good evening. Or good evening! That's right! There you go, you did it. I suppose it's predictable enough that they would flip where you want to go. Because the whole idea of that section in the original game is you get a much easier level if you manage to fall onto that note block and do that jump correctly. Alright, boss door! I nailed it. I 
Amazing Mirror would be definitely worth a replay for nothing else. That was the Kirby Metroidvania game. V1. Oh, first... V1, Some... yes. <laughs> Subspace Emissary is the only one that really tried to do it, and like it kind of tried too late to be a good Metroidvania. Yeah. Like, I still enjoy it, but it's definitely like an afterthought. Well, it was more single player than Smash 4 got. Uh, I guess let's hope that Smash 5 has some semblance of a reasonable uh, single player mode. Please. Mm hmm. Even just Smash Run expanded would be fine. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people were like, man, I wish I could just do the adventure mode in Melee again. <laughs> I'd love to do that again. Adventure mode in Melee was awesome. Oh jeez, I need to be able to make this jump. Alright, good. Let's say Smash is a lot more fun when you have people to play it with Yankee Gal, so... Um, <laughs> that was definitely a benefit that I had back in the days of uh, Melee, where I had a couple of people uh, in school that you could play, or I could play Melee with, so... Meanwhile, I learned Melee via the single player content. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I learned to play the Smash series in general. It got <laughs> me in the habit of never using the C-Stick, because the <laughs> melee single-player modes didn't let you use the C-Stick. That, that's that's correct, so... No, I played melee single-player, like, a lot when it came out, but and then I remember having a lot of fun playing it uh, with, uh, you know, friends, you know, just doing free-for-alls, so... Uh, hello, Gravity Mechanic, and uh, I guess Bowser Jr. having a machine like uh, Tatanga's machine here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. But with Gravity Flip, so you can't hit him three times in a row. <laughs> well, we managed to do it, so... Rosalina? Rosalina? You got... You got Rosalina? It's the goddess herself. Mm-hmm. Our special one's in the center of the universe! We must go there! Into the black hole. Mega black hole. And death. Red star <laughs> music starts. Rosalina, could you like, uh, you know, just teleport me there? Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, alright. Well, World 8, which will appear to be definitely a... Well, that's a Bowser world. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 castle and pipe, which probably leads to that World 0. Uh, so it looks like we're not going to be dealing with hands here, but uh, we're going to be detouring Dang. to them, I think. So No. No <laughs> luck factors. All right. Come on, Mods. You can get the, z like, the like 1 out of 8% chance. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's... Uh, Darbian did. But, well, yes, he did. Let's hit the save state here. Uh, so next week, uh, this will be after MGC, so I'm sure I'm going to have MGC stories and Evil Pop Dart stories and all that fun stuff. And we're also going to take on the final world and maybe do some extras in Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. We'll see where it takes us. Uh, those were two very fun worlds, I gotta say, although Petey Piranha was a pain in the butt. Any closing thoughts, anyone? Well, this looks like the special zone, just in layout. In terms of layout? Ah, good point. Well, it, it sounds like this World, world 8, though. <laughs> this world has fire. It's World 8. Yes. Fire dance party. Oh, jeez, you're, you're actually kind of reminding me. What the button was it again, To uh, Star Road. That's right. We can go back to any other world whenever we want. Star Road. Super Mario Star Road, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just kicked you into 64. <laughs> <laughs> Start playing a completely different game. Get on that, Smelfed. Yeah, have it warp you into a completely different game. The most <laughs> ambitious crossover ever. Alright. Does anybody have any recommended raid targets? Uh, according to my Twitch, well, Darby is still... Darby is it? still streaming, yeah. Is he trying to do another Mario 3 run? Yeah, he's not satisfied with his time. Well, I mean, he's happy with PB, but he's not, he's not stopping there. He's gonna... Continue with the bros. Right now he's only seven seconds uh, behind his PB in in world in world four. Yeah, in world four. He has to go up with no hands though. Alright, well, let's give him some cheers. 
Uh, I'm about to say we actually have a decent amount of audience here. Let, let's make this a very positive uh, um, uh, raid message. We are going to be raiding with PB again. Just, just a simple, you know, cheer on raid message. This might even, you know, not be a very obvious raid message, actually. <laughs> PB that again! Feel rating, that feels <laughs> I'm raiding someone who has, like, you know, the many times more viewers than you, but hey, who cares? Who cares? Exactly. So I'm going to be sending you guys to Darby, and I'm also going to post a link to his uh, Twitch chat if you want to get ahead of me hitting the raid command. And uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow uh, we're going to be doing more Brule Doom, and then next week uh, we'll see what we can do with 3Mix. I feel like 3Mix is either going to take me probably two more uh, streams to finish. So uh, in any case, hopefully everybody uh, has enjoyed, and uh, have a great week. Thank you, everybody. See ya. See ya.